video is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legend. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Bryce, and is strong, everyone. Listen, Fuck listen. You. I hey, made it clear hey, from hey, the start. Hey, hey, oh, no, no, shut up. Shut up. You invited me to this? You get to deal with this, pussy. Listen, Anderson, I swear to God, I made it very clear from the start that the only reason I joined this podcast was so that we could get a fucking Rage Shadow Legend sponsored DM. If you well, fuck, fuck that you, up, I swear to fuck. It's a shit game anyway. Anderson! What? I want to be able to go to my local Taco Bell, bring out $100, and say, you give me a fucking 100 single tacos, a la Rage Shadow Legends, and be able to say that with confidence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I don't know what's worse, the fact that you want to be sponsored by Raid Shadow f or the fact that you eat a Taco Bell. Uh, probably both. He's but... got a point. Yeah. <laughs> The whole thing, I love it. Anyone listening out there who is a fan of Magic the Gathering or Godzilla, the uh, yeah, infamous uh, 1950s onward um, fucking kaiju movie franchise, Magic the Gathering is releasing goddamn Godzilla cards right now. Hell yeah. And I'm the movie has made very irresponsible I, yeah, financial I'm, decisions. I'm making horrible financial <laughs> decisions. When you're not able to pay the rent at the end of the month, are you going to be able to look at your Godzilla card I mean, and be I mean, like, this was worth it? Hey, hey you're, you're bitching that I'm drunk. Rent, but, you're bitching that I'm drunk. But, you, yeah, when you're drunk, you make horrible life choices. I mean, this was a meat. Yeah. Can no, you no, please no, no, It has been proven that you make horrible decisions while you're drunk. Case in point, you're my friend. That's true. That was yeah. a drunk decision. Befriending Anderson yeah. was a it pretty was, bad was a drunk decision. decision. However, I will say this: I have been. I, I'm a pretty big fan of Magic: The Gathering. I've already spent hundreds and hundreds, probably even thousands, on that card game over the course of my 27 years on this planet. Um, have you spent 200 dollars on one day. In one I day. Have, one yes. day. Two hundred. One day. Yes. Wow. I, on I, did, one card, I have never spent two hundred dollars on a single card, but I, I, spent I did that. I did that for Yu-Gi-Oh. I regret it so hard. So I wanted to say that I, I'm also a massive, massive, lifelong fan of the um, Godzilla movies. I used to have a fuck ton of them on VHS when I was a kid. That's how fucking old I am. You're old. I, v I, I used to have a fuck ton of VHSs. You're not um, old. You're just. That's not old. That's just you have like seasoned. fucking old shit. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I remember whenever that was, whenever they weren't old. But yeah, yeah. So I've got a bunch of old, uh, like the. Uh, I probably still do have have them somewhere of the like old Godzilla VHSs, and I used to watch them That's all the time. That's the point, Woody. So, uh, well, the <laughs> point is, I'm buying the goddamn Godzilla cards. The However, point is, Japanese exclusive cards. There's three cards that are only available in Japanese. Um, oh. I've oh, already ordered them. Bitch. I already I already ordered them on eBay. Uh, oh, yeah. It's Mothra's Giant Cocoon. Um, Bet uh, Monster of the City and um, Mecha Godzilla the the weapon. Mothra's Mecha silky Ultra pussy. Dildo. Got it. Mecha You're Ultra Dildo. Yeah, about the Mecha Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Dildo. Dildo. Mecha Ultra Dildo. Yes. Only I want a Mecha forget, Ultra you Dildo. You about Space Godzilla Death Corona. I mean, you want to fuck animals, so at this point, I believe you want anything. Oh but man. Yeah, no, uh, the uh, how I discovered that they were making these is because of the controversy around yeah the Space Godzilla Death Corona card. Death Corona. Um, what a name. Yeah, Death to Corona. What, a what the fuck what were a, they? What a random time to happen. What a happen. fucking coincidence, huh? Exactly. Jesus. Well, I mean, uh, Space Godzilla's uh, attack is called Corona Beam. Oh. Um, that's why it's Death Corona. Um, yeah, however, uh, the fucking Japanese predicted it all, man. They the initial, had the initial printing of the card is going to say Space Godzilla. I always Death say Corona. never trust the fucking Japs or the Koreans, man. Shit. Listen, yeah. look, it makes sense, though, but, like, think about it. Godzilla was originally supposed to represent, you know, like, atomic, like, uh, destruction. Uh, and American what is, clear, what, what is, what is Corona if not, like, another, you know, world-threatening, like, uh, power, you know? Think of it.
Think about it. Oh, yeah, virus. No, so basically, uh, uh, there's a road shit card. episode, not, not, not political bullshit. Jesus. I wasn't being political. Nerd shit. Listen, all nerd shit comes no, no, from no, politics. No, I, I, I was. I brought in North Korean to this. <laughs> is there is there a nineties Godzilla cartoon? There was a, a there was a oh, Godzilla okay. cartoon. There's like three different cards with Godzilla on them. Um, is there the two thousands one? Fuck. The, They're that... not labeled as like. Godzilla uh, 90s or Godzilla 2000. It's, but yeah, yeah, is yeah, there, but no, yeah, like the American Godzilla, like the, that's a lot of fish. No, one. Yeah. no, one, that is not Godzilla 2000. Two, that is, uh, that creature's name is not Godzilla in the Godzilla it's, canon. It's, it's just Zilla. a dinosaur. Zilla? Zilla. I love that. No, 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 it's, it's just a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. It's just a dinosaur. I mean, it's true. One of my favorite cards that I saw, and, it, and it's not even a real card, Mm -hmm. Said I was sitting here with Wooney one night talking. We're like, man, they should make a fucking Cthulhu card. Some guy made a fan made Cthulhu card and it looked amazing. Oh, yeah, some of the fan made cards are dope. Sounds pretty good. Is that it? Are we done talking about Magic the Fucking Gallery? We done? Actually, actually, now I want to. Why do so many things make like trading cards? Like, who plays these things? I, Pokemon, Digimon, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a no, but like sure that, no, no, those, those are like those at this point. But the thing is, you those are like those kid. are like established, like okay, they're trading games that they already come from. But like you have like My Little Pony, Doctor Who, like I guess it makes sense because it's cheap. But like Fanatical. realistically, other than the people who are like super fans that like have nothing to do Fan but like buy the product, bro. who the fuck does shit with it? I purchased one booster pack of the Scooby Doo trading card game oh when I was God. a kid. That's how fucking widespread it is. Yeah, it's so stupid. stupid. A trading card game. I the think it's even a SpongeBob trading, trading card, game. card game, if I'm not mistaken. There probably is. Yeah, it's just Honestly, I, every it's, you think it's not your next birthday present. It's just cheap, and you might get some weird freaks that are gonna buy it because they're obsessed Why was with the I show. Why was I invited in here again? This is lame. What was that? This is lame. Why was I invited here? Aren't you the resident card <laughs> flopper? You're the car you're the TCG I'm, faggot. I'm retired. I don't play that. I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm retired. You can't look back on your glory days and like back yeah, when you like, were the oh, card yeah. master. Considering every fucking nerdy retard I had to deal with, no, I don't like looking back at that. <laughs> Anyways, Wooney, uh, do you want to, Wooney? Uh, I want to sort of go over some things about the. Two, th two new things I found out. The Star Wars uh, Rebel sequel might be coming out. Ooh. And there is actually a new actress has been confirmed for the Mandalorian season two. Was Rebels oh, good? Yeah, no, I was the one who, yeah, I was the one who posted the Katie Sackhoff thing. Katie Sackhoff is No, 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 not her. Not her. Oh. All right. Was so, Rebels good? Rebels was, Rebels good. was not good. I liked Rebels. No, no it, it was, was okay. okay. I was I, not I, as great I as Clone Wars. I mean, I would imagine so. That is a high bar. That is a high bar. That is a high bar, bro. Woody, Woody, you like everything Star Wars. You do not like Resistance. You you already pre-ordered the fucking High Republic without knowing Jack. I did, I did. I'm giving it a shot. And I will be a resident motherfucker who's like, has his finger straight shoved up the ass of Disney Star Wars. Right on the pulse. I've got like, right there. He's giving Disney a pulse. Woody's a fucking Nazi. There, I said it. I am not a Nazi. I'm he's a not a Nazi. Nazi. He's a Nazbull. He actually thing, wants to make good thing. on the socialist promises. He's a Strasserist. We all know that. Uh, what we know about the actress that I was trying to tell you guys about is yeah. Rosario Dawson. She has been hired on season two of The Mandalorian. Now, they don't know what she's going to be playing yet. But a lot of rumors think she might play Ahsoka Tano. That's the rumor I've been hearing for months. Oh uh, yeah. I actually, on left on the on like leftist Star Wars pages, there's a lot of people who are really kind of butthurt about. Why? Uh, yeah, because I don't, I don't isn't, care, man. Isn't she dating Cory Booker? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, no, she has like some like there was like some stupid controversy involving like her and some transphobic comments that people were pissed off about. I was more annoyed that they didn't get the voice yeah. actress who actually plays. 
they should bring Jake Lloyd back to play a Soka <laughs> <laughs> They should bring Miley's Tyrus to play as Emperor Palpatine. You should totally do that. Miley's? I would be up for that. Yeah, Miley Tyrus as Emperor Palpatine. You should totally do that. I'm cool with that. WWE wrestler Sasha Banks uh -huh. is actually might play Sabine uh, in one of the Star Wars um, upcoming Star Wars Who's Sabine? Films. Yeah. Yeah, S S A B I E N E. Sabine uh, Ren. Okay, yeah. good good for her. Who cares? Who the fuck was that? Oh fuck you, night or uh, not nightmare. I'm yeah, sorry. Nightmare. And, uh, and yeah. listen, you know I'm actually yeah. legit interested in Star Wars. Um, yeah. I've got why the fuck? Here. Okay, I looked up Sabine. Why the fuck is one of the results just raping underneath? <laughs> like look, look up Sabine. It's like Sabine, and then underneath it's like raping. Legend says that the uh, Romans abducted Sabine women to populate uh, the newly built Rome. Hey, so is hey, Sabine hey, is Sabine our token rape victim? Hey Woon, Woon. To answer your question, you know damn well why I'm mad at at, at at fucking Disney. You know damn well. They haven't released the Star Wars Porno anniversary special yet. Oh, oh no, 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 they, they did that already, but that's not, that's not the point. That's not why I'm mad. Do you remember when Sonic... Yeah, go ahead. Do you remember when Sonic trademarked uh, Sonic porn? Yeah. Anyways, and they should so do that with Star go Wars. ahead and rant about Disney and how they fucked yeah, Star Wars up since, for you. Yeah, go ahead. Since you, you, since you, you seem Come so on. opinionated, why don't you, why don't you tell us about Come your... Come on, Mahler, shit. give us your opinion on Star Wars. You know, you know, I, I, I would, but, you know, right now... No, I'm, really, I'm, yeah, I would, but... <laughs> I would. I would. Well, there's a well, I, I no, know. I'd rather just whine about anybody who talks about Star Wars instead. I don't whine and complain about look, your guys' look, look, in, in my defense, my in my defense, th this is kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> in my defense, you guys just suck, and I don't actually have to talk about anything to make an interesting podcast. Hey, Brendan, just what he thinks. Uh, All right, but no, hey, no, no. Actually, no. let's go on to uh, something that's close to Anderson's heart, which is Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is is not close to my heart. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh are the champions. How many years did you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Since I was like five. When did you stop? Why did you stop? Two two years ago. Why did I stop? Because, yeah. um, uh, fucking retarded weebs. That's why. Uh, expound if you could. Yeah, um, explain. Explain. What about what about the retarded weebs? What made yeah. them retarded? What made them weebs? Why, why are you not a retarded weeb? I'll be honest, the weeb part wasn't the problem, the retarded part was the problem. Right. I just realized that um, card games are just filled with these fucking little bitch-ass retards. Weren't you telling like me about, like, price. you were telling me about yeah, this what? one dude, like, the, the fucking uh, super, like, entitled uh, man baby that you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh with? Oh yeah, he told we'll me about to, that too. We'll... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for for the audience, then yeah, I don't like to repeat. I don't like to repeat stories, but for the audience, I guess. Um, there's there's this fucking guy, who uh who gets mad about every little fucking detail about any fucking card game he's playing, whether it's Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh. And and, and and if you guys play card games out there, you you've you've met one of these guys or two oh, or three yeah. or, that or maybe guy. fifty because they're everywhere nowadays. So so. They put little fucking effort into playing the fucking game, and then they bitch that they lose, and then when they win, they're all fucking smug about it because you didn't drew good. Hmm. Fucking they also tend to spend a lot more money than the normal person too. And then and then and then when it comes time, no, hold on. And then when it comes time, a fucking you know, oh, we got a new set. Oh, look at these new cards, dude. These new cards are fucking broken. They're not fucking fair. It's like you know, why don't you just play the new cards? They're too expensive. It's like oh, sure. But that fucking Wii you bought, you know, no, no, that wasn't fucking expensive at all. Fucking pussy. I mean, to be fair, I'd rather have a Wii than a fucking bunch of cards. I feel like there's true. a lot more use. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, that's fine, that's fine, <laughs> but here's the thing. If you know you have the money, why are you bitching? Why the fuck are you bitching? I get because it, it's card, it's cardboard. Everybody's looking for no, something no, 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 I, I get it. I, no, 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 hold on, no, hold on. I get it, it's cardboard. You don't want to spend money on cardboard, but then why are you bitching? Just play what you got. Hell, I could play with the shittiest fucking deck around. I could still whoop your ass. But no, I have I have a, I have a, a story about... Well, not really a story, a complaint. I mm -hmm. have someone who's almost 
the exact opposite that made uh, playing Magic the Gathering at my local card shop basically a chore. If I, I, I no longer, uh, you remember my El, the Eldraz, uh, so for the audience, um, my, my baby, my, whenever it comes to Magic the Gathering, my, my baby, my, my, my Woody's child. tentacle love child. <laughs> yeah, Mooney's tentacle the love child mm-hmm. is my Eldrazi, uh, tribal, co- my uh, colorless Eldrazi tribal. For commander. those who play Magic, Mooney's, Mooney's a bitch. I built a colorless Eldrazi tribal deck, and I and I, I I would take that thing to the tournaments, and I did pretty well, um, you know. But there's this I never won because there's this one bitch, um, who basically she's like in her thirties uh, now. You got but she's still rich enough of uh, mom and daddy's money because they're rich mm. and uh, trust she's fund like baby. Tr- yeah, she's <laughs> like a trust fund kid, and she's the weirdest trust fund kid I've ever met. She's like the giant nerd trust fund kid oh. so literally anytime a new set of magic comes out she has uh like five of every card i thought the limit was four she dude she built so many fucking decks wow. so Mooney, like, what makes it a chore to play because you know you'll never win oh yeah that so is she, kind of fun she's just Mooney, fucking Mooney. uh She's a uh, friend. Well, it, it's has, one like, thing to have the games. money for it. It's another thing to just no. She she has the no. To play. be fair, she, is, she this is all she does. She yeah. she has the skill to back it up. She's one of those that this is her life. She does nothing else but play and play magic. So she is like the the fucking World of Warcraft uh episode of South Park. That dude. So what? So what, what you're telling me? So what you're telling me here, Mooney, is that you met a girl who is more skilled at you at a game, and now you're butt hurt because she's better than you. No, I'm not. I'm not upset. It better myself. <laughs> Mooney, I've got a question Maybe. for you. Could your friend? Who has like the Kai of a briefcase full of decks and magic? Could he beat her? No, that's the thing. Is uh, he he was the one who warned me not to enter tournaments because of her. He's like, you're not gonna win. She wins literally every. Tra-. That's why I'm annoyed. Is that because everyone hates her because she literally she just she she watches you. She she knows everyone. She she knows everyone's deck, and she just mm-hmm. fucking uh. She just fucking um I, wins I, every I, single tournament. And I, admire, I, admire I admire that. that. I, I, I struggle to really so here's the yeah. thing, here's the thing. I, I, I have I've met trust fun bitches, all right? And when uh-huh. I say bitches, I don't just mean the women. Uh, I've I've met them. They normally suck at the game. Yeah. They suck hard, yeah. and it's funny to see them struggle because you know it's like I spent like a thousand dollars on this game on this fucking deck, bro, and I'm still getting my ass kicked now because you fucking suck. But if this chick has the skill to back it up, hey, I don't give a fuck if she's a trust fund bitch. Yeah. She your ass, man. It Deal just sounds it. it just sounds yeah, like yeah. she's a skilled player, and you guys hate her because of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, like I've I've ran up, I've played people with that have some of the Lotus cards. And yeah, the, the Black Lotus magic. isn't even you that powerful. That, it's just rare. I know, I know. That's my point, though. I'm sort of piggybacking off, off what Anderson said. This guy thought just oh, yeah, he spent yeah, piggyback off me, bitch. A lot of money on his deck that he was gonna he was gonna be just automatically one of the best. Turns out he got his ass kicked yeah. in every single Yeah, because he spent it, okay, because he didn't actually look at, he, okay, that's the problem I know. Uh, with buying, with people who only buy, like, the most expensive cards. Yeah. The most expensive cards aren't the always the best cards. No, no it could be because of a certain artist who did the, who did the work for it. Yeah, Honestly, or it's... just because of, like, the Black Lotus. It was, like... Yeah, the Black it, Lotus speaks for what, it, the, All the conditions around the Black it, Lotus it, are why it, it's it, the most valuable. No, I'm, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Even with natural skill and understanding of a fucking game, it takes mm-hmm. years for you to, like, master your fucking craft. I know yeah. that sounds really fucking gay the way I said it, but no, it's... it's that was true, really. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's that how it goes. It, it, it takes don't get years that. to master a fucking game. Despite what yeah, Kaiba would make... Trust fund babies don't get that. Hey, 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 Winnie, hey, to hey, Winnie, hey, Winnie, fuck you, I didn't lose to a girl. <laughs> you got you there, Winnie. I mean, well, okay. if you played Fanatical and he beat you, you technically lose to a guy that looks like a chick. That's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. A fair point. But that but wouldn't I would, happen. I would also not lose to Fanatical. Yeah, no, because I've never played a card game in my life. <laughs> I'm not even talking about a card game, I wouldn't lose to you in anything. You don't think you'd Jesus. fucking lose to me what about, in a... like, headbanging? You would lose to me in a Venture Bros trivia game. No, I wouldn't. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, well. I know. That's uh, <laughs> next episode. Uh, next Fanatical episode. V. Anderson in an adventure. Brothers uh, trivia uh, game. Uh, guys, I have to go. I'm going to bench watch that shit right now. <laughs> just I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not cheating. I don't know. <laughs> just, just, so you, just so you know, that is not the next episode. Fuck no. I mean, uh, I would so be happy if you bench, be watch here. Venture Bros, but still. Is, 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 is this how it's gonna be? Just talking shit? It's kind of boring. You remember Chex Quest? Do any of you know what that is? But, 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 slow, slow down. Okay. Slow down, so Chex Quest, for all of you who didn't know, was like slow this fucking... More. Uh, for all of He's you fine. who didn't know, Chex Quest was a Not game that, that came in... Chex Quest was a game that came in uh, the... Uh, uh, checks like boxes of cereal, and it was a Doom clone, essentially. But instead, you played as like what they called a Chex warrior, and you killed like snot creatures with your fucking Chex weapons. For some reason, someone's re-releasing like that, but like with a physical copy, and they have like an hundred fifty dollar version where you can get like a replica of like the shitty like Zorcher weapon that they have, and get like fucking souvenirs and shit like that. I'm like, who the fuck decides to do this? Who's the fucking super fan of Chex Quest that like wants to recreate this? It's so uh, fucking weird. Wait, who 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 owns Chex? It's not Kellogg's. Who is it? I don't know actually. I don't I mean, know if this is officially it's, a racist, uh, a racist cult that owns it. Yeah, it's at a least race... it, it used to be. Really? Oh yeah, yeah Kellogg's was a fucking slave owner or something. Uh, Shredded Ralston, Ralston's. Okay, I want to know the history of this. This sounds interesting. Tell me. Yeah, no, it's it's. You should look it up. Anyone out there, look up the history of checks. Like, look up, look up the Ralstons. <laughs> oh, okay, it's owned by General Mills. Wasn't Kellogg's a slave owner there. or something like that? He was a racist. No, no, no. Chex is currently owned by General Mills. Oh, okay. They're slave so that's owners. That's who probably wants the game I'm, back. Uh, hey, hey, guys, I'm lost. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I like was just talking about a fucking physical release of a fucking Chex quest and we suddenly got off the well, slaver. Why the fuck are we talking about Kellogg's? That's my question. Because Kellogg's that's is a racist. racist. Uh, no, no, no. Nightmare, because Nightmare, 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 Nightmare,
I know. Hey, um, um, his voice isn't terrible, but I'm no, saying no, no, no. that's my justification for saying yeah. that it was ruined. Hey, Wooney. Hey, Wooney, did you ever get your West Tech canvas bag? What? Did you ever get your West Tech canvas bag, Wooney? I I didn't I did I I never pre I never purchased that game. <laughs> oh, okay. The no, only thing serious. from Fallout 76 I purchased is I wanted the plastic army men bag, yeah. the bag of plastic army men that came with the the power armor edition. Mm -hmm. Um, because they were Fallout plastic army men, I thought they were dope. Yeah. I so I ordered that on eBay. Like, I just wanted you guys out. Yeah. Uh, how long have we been doing this for? Like an hour now? Uh, no. I don't even think so. Yeah, I think it's been uh, like 30 uh, minutes uh, in total. 30, 30 minutes, man. It's felt like forever. Yeah, Look, it does feel uh, like we've been talking this, a lot. We, we, we have, quote-unquote, talked about many topics. Yeah. And um, it is amazing how we can just go on talking a lot of crap and say absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Anderson. Because you keep moving us on to the next topic. That's we true. We can't stick to any one topic. <laughs> you know, I started to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and then we, we, we here's a, and yeah. segued on, and then we here's segued a, on, and then we segued be, on. Yeah. Where are we now? Look, look, and just just ask, ask your two subscribers, you know? like Yeah, hey, two it's subscribers, it's you know? Are you entertained by this? I doubt are it. Even, are you entertained by this? Are you entertained? Yeah. So yeah, no, no, who's but, that uh, chick but, that but, actually but, got hired on? Yeah, no, but, but, uh, but that's the sucks. That's what happened? Who was that girl? Who's that woman you were telling me that got hired on the Star in the Star Wars? Um... Katie Sackhoff. Oh my God, we're she back to played. Oh, okay, so Katie Sackhoff oh, played um Starbuck in Battlestar Galactica, which is Star one of my all-time favorite television series. It was for a long time my favorite TV series. Um, it is oh, a wonderful space opera and um you guys well, so basically katie mm -hmm. sackoff is now gonna play bo katan in who? um mm. who is bo katan so anyone who 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 knows who that is She's Jesus Christ, how are we supposed to have a podcast if you're talking about shit <laughs> no one knows about? Give me an explanation. She's a goddamn... She's a, she's a fucking character from Star Wars. Oh, uh, wow! Bo-Katan is a character from Star Wars. Well, fuck me sideways. I couldn't have guessed that. Give me a character description, Wooney. She's a uh, Mandalorian. It's so dense. Every single image has so many things going on. She's like... Wow. Um... But she's the leader of the Mandalorians. It's so dense. Is she? Uh -huh. now? Yeah, she is. Um, yeah. I actually don't know what it was. It was during is. Rebels. Uh, whenever she. You don't know what a Mandalorian is, Jesus. It's so dense. It's Aren't they like Boba Fett? Jango Kai, Fett. Yes. Boba Fett, yes. That's, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I argue not, against that. No, Richard Mandalorian. You. Okay. He, okay. So, uh, I would argue Jango Fett is a Mandalorian. He and is. What is Boba Fett, if not. A clone Mandalorian. Is he, is he not a Mandalorian because his dad died and he didn't live up to the? He didn't live by the creed. Is that what it was? What what, what Boba is? is, so is what Boba Fett is literally a Jango Fett clone that Jango raised as his son. Yeah, for no good reason. To a reason. certain age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, before Mace cut his head off. Yeah. Still. Why did? What's the in-universe reason that Jango Fett thought that that little bitch boy deserved it more than the other fucking clones? No, 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 no. He, his, his, part of his terms to agree mm -hmm. to uh, be cloned yeah. was he wanted a son. I want a boy. Why? Wouldn't he make one with a fucking bitch? Well, what, was he sterile? I guess not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess not. Who would you have in a fight? Django or Boba? I'd have Django. I think Django. Oh, hmm. this, that's just a stupid question. It would never happen. <laughs> yeah, well, it's almost like fucking stuff. Because the only time in which they could have fought together, Boba Fett was a child. Yes, I do think yeah. Django. <laughs> not, 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 not only that, in what universe do you see father and son fighting ever? Yeah, I was gonna say if, if it was like some weird time paradox, I feel like if he knew that Boba Fett actually, was his son, Django uh, Fett might be too emotionally compromised. Technically, to... probably. Uh, there's actually been Django a recent Fett's upload a bit of, a of um, Thomas Wayne Jr. coming back into the modern DC universe. Hit 
Okay, Thomas Wayne, uh, Thomas Wayne Sr., I'm sorry. Thomas and, Wayne Jr. Um, fuck you. Uh, that's actually the name of Owl Man, but I'll get into that later. Yeah, I remember but, that. Uh, okay, yeah. So Thomas Wayne and Rachel Ghoul yeah. basically try to get rid of Bruce Wayne from being Batman. Wait, hold on. And this comes from the... Um, and this come okay. This this Thomas Wayne comes from a universe where basically oh, okay. Bruce is the one that died in the alley, and Martha Wayne becomes the Joker. Oh yeah, no. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with this yeah. alternate time. Nightmare, yeah. Nightmare, everyone, everyone and their awesome. fucking diabetic mom knows about this story. Yeah. Gee, really? Then really is this the Ultraman called? one? No, no. Oh, so this is a different no, alternate not. universe. No, okay. No, it's not. This um, is called Paradox. Oh, okay. This is where Bruce's mama becomes Joker because she's That's a pussy. That's cool. I gotta read that. Yeah, but this isn't this isn't a part of the original story. Oh, okay. They did they did they added on more to this during the New Fifty Two. Oh. Where basically what happens is through some fuckery, Thomas yeah. actually ends up coming to the modern the main version of DC, uh-huh. and he doesn't want Bruce to be Batman. Mm-hmm. So Raish and Thomas, mm-hmm. along with Bane and a bunch of other uh, of Batman's rogues, he already mm-hmm. yeah. try to break Bruce Wayne down. Mm-hmm. So yes, Anderson, father and sons can fight. It mm-hmm. ends up yeah. they end up fighting in the end, and Bruce mm-hmm. ends up beating um, mm-hmm. Thomas. Isn't Star okay. wasn't Star Wars I, a fucking like the first um, ever conflict was between father and son? Exactly. It's yeah, Darth Vader yeah, versus yeah. N- 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 Nightmare, Nightmare, your example comparing Thomas and Batman and Django and Boba, five fucking points, buddy. It's not even the same you universe version me, of his father. In what universe would a father I and didn't son ask. Fight? No, no, no. I didn't ask. It was, it was like a rhetorical fucking question that nobody well, was supposed to fucking your answer. Question. You took it seriously like a little bitch. Uh, well, I, I will it, say, it, 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 I will it, it, say, it is ironic it, it, for you to make it, it, that like this what you like little bitch. Okay, it is ironic hey, hey, to hey, say that. I'm gonna jerk off the corner hey, like a little bitch. Hey, 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 fuck your mother. It is ironic for you to make that claim with like a fucking like, oh, what Boba and Jango fight? What universe would actually exist where father and son fight? And you're talking about the Star Wars universe. <laughs> That's not even that doesn't even work. That's not even a proper example of that. That's not even a proper example of that because that's not the same father and son. Exactly. No, here's the thing. I'm actually surprised going back to that. I'm actually surprised that Batman would fight his dad because he spent his entire life saying my parents. <laughs> he whines about his mommy and dad uh, every day. And he finally has daddy back, and he's like, "Well, daddy, you don't want me to be Batman? Then I have to get cursed." Yeah. Well, it's technically <laughs> not his father. It's just fucking. <laughs> the thing is, it's not even his father. It's alternate universe father. The thing is, also Thomas uh, kills Martha in that comic. Yeah. And they bury her ass in the sand. Okay. They bury her ass in the sand. Anyways, there are entire channels that are dedicated to these hypothetical fights, Anderson. That's why I'm Yeah, they're called Screw Attack. Really you. Yeah, Back to the original question. What was that? What was that? They said they're called Screw Attack. Everybody knows those fucking things. Screw Attack sucks, and you know it. I've I've never really cared much for the fights. They're boring to me. It's it's like, yeah, they give you flashy fights and everything, but my god, are they dead wrong on their fucking bullshit. Oh, like what, Anderson? A lot of things. Lot of <laughs> you, things don't wanna, know. you don't want to. You don't want to take a stand. Things. Anderson's a pussy. Things, I know the kind of things. You don't even know the kind of thing. I will agree, I will agree with dude. one. I don't know. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I do agree with one of them. What? Um, Bat- Batman versus Captain America. A lot of people bitch so hard. It's like Batman could never be Captain America. Bullshit. Yes, he could. Yeah, he could. I, I, I will. I will agree with them on that one thing, and maybe like two others, but. Specifically, uh, I've had a lot of a lot of friends around here saying, "Yeah, yeah, no, that's impossible. Batman could never be Captain America." Like, fuck you. Yes, he could. Yeah, he could. Bruce would probably I'm, win I'm four out of ten Batman times. Yeah. Batman on that one. I defend Batman on that. Uh, okay. What were you? Zerka fans are such pussies, just like Naruto fans. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> no, 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 not Naruto fans. Uh, fucking um. Uh, Goku. Who, who was Naruto? Who was Naruto fighting on that one death battle? I don't remember. I don't fucking like remember. What's it? What's it? The what's it? The bitch from Bleach. Uh, maybe Ichigo. 
Ichigo? I don't fucking know. Ichi, bro. I, 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 Ichigo. It was Ichigo. Ichigo was Naruto, I, I think. Know. I have no idea. Hold on, let me look. I'm looking it up. I mean, they're both. Yeah, it was. It was Ichigo. Okay. Okay. So what? What happened there was that um the fucking Bleach community lost their massive shit over that. And it's like that's impossible. I could fucking Ichigo lose that shit. It's like, do you realize? <laughs> I mean, he, he, that's the thing though. Um, uh, fucking Screw Attack. They explained it. Yeah. Pretty good, I would say. The reason why Ichigo would lose that fight, and everybody was still like, "No, oh, it's fucking bullshit. Fucking Ichigo is fucking badass. And he's fucking awesome." And I'm just like, "God damn, it's anime. Who gives a fuck?" <laughs> what a fucking brilliant argument. Hey, let's, let's, let's talk about it's the like, super. No, 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 no. It's it's anime. All right, it's like <laughs> Dragon Ball. You just write more bullshit okay. than you can do in the future. Isn't right? isn't anime though like the epitome of like like like? Listen, I totally agree. Like these battle stuff doesn't make a fucking difference because all of these characters yeah. are written with like plot armor that just changes depending on whether the person wants to like. Oh, the big bad guy now has to be even cooler, so I gotta make the new excuse for this guy to be cooler. There's no fucking set like power level bullshit. It's it's it doesn't matter. It's all based around the stories yeah. that they're trying to tell. But anime is the epitome of people arguing over power levels so if you're gonna be talking it's, about like any if there's any though. place to be complaining about power levels it's not like fucking rainbow anybody. dash versus star scream it's gonna be with fucking uh naruto versus ichigo because those are the fucking I'll, losers I'll, who I'll care about honest, that shit hey, ben, hey, yeah. ben, i'll be honest i actually enjoyed that one episode where it was like rainbow dash versus star yeah no that was good that was a good one <laughs> everybody was so bad like how could a fucking pony be the the pony be the the I, I I think that's the point, you dumbass. Yeah. This is meant to be a fucking joke. Yeah. Dork. Uh, but yeah, no. But, 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 but yeah, but yeah, no. Well, if we're gonna talk like though, if we're gonna get into screw attack, let's talk about the big controversy: Superman versus Goku, dude. The when they betrayed our trust. I 100% agree with that one. Yeah, no, it completely makes sense. Superman is written to, to be point, like. Who won that one? To a point. Superman. To a point, I agree with it. To a Super point, I agree with it. I think the I point, mean, it just it just makes sense. Are we Super using composite versions, or are there certain versions that you're using? Uh, I think it's like, uh, fucking, I actually don't know what they were using. it's a composite version of Superman and a composite version of Goku. A what? I don't a know what composite version, means. Basically, uh, you don't know what that means. Um, yeah. Basically, okay, I I'd say Goku, like, honestly, I mean, but now, like, if it's... If it's Superman, if it's Superman 1000 or Superman Boy Prime, yeah, yeah, dead it's Superman. Dead. I think they're re I think that it was pretty reasonable what they were trying to say, which is like Superman's not a character that's really built with limitations. Like he's just fucking yeah. an ultimate like super big badass compared to like well, Goku, to who's fair, ri written to be magic like just struggle. Is a weakness of Superman's. That's true, but Goku doesn't have you magic. Know, well, I, I was about to mention that magic is a weakness that he has, and I I hate it that they barely use it. In the, yeah, it's in the true. Universe they're yeah. pussies. E on that even yeah. whenever he's fighting people like Shazam, they don't even use I, I, it. I, yeah. I I, you know, here's the thing. I swear, I think they just want to redcon that because I feel like they're yeah. like, yeah, no, we made a total mistake. We want Superman to be more fucking OP, but we kind of fucked up the magic thing. So yeah. let's just not put him up against any magical characters. I can't. I, can't, I cannot yeah, think yeah, of a Superman. Yeah, don't put him up against Black Adam. Don't put yeah, him yeah, up against yeah. Shazam and one, which is, which is like, whole garbage. Because yeah. Shazam is just Superman, but magic. Yeah, exactly. pretty much. Okay, I I literally no, he's not an alien. It's different. I literally he's a child actually, he has, with uh, magic. Yeah, I can't think of a single he like has the powers of nine gods. Shazam yeah, has. yeah. Fuck nine gods versus an alien with the sun. Yeah, I I Last can't. Last time I checked, the sun's only one god. Yeah, I can't think of uh. It's that's a um, really good point because like other than oh, like oh, oh, so, oh, sorry. no 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 here's the thing. here's the thing. you guys don't know a stupid plot hole in DC that I hate what. We literally have supervillains that that are that are ally with other supervillains who clearly know the fucking weaknesses of fucking Superman. Mm -hmm. And these fuckers have the ability to teleport anything and anyone to any destination. <laughs> and you don't fucking think to yourself, gee, maybe I should dump this asshole back to his fucking destroyed home planet to die. That's true. I mean, well, it's... okay, if we're going to look at that, like, uh, for instance, what caused the Injustice universe to begin... Was Joker basically fucked with Superman's mind? Had, he raped Lois Lane in front of him. Absolutely nothing to yeah, do with exactly. what I just yeah. said. Yeah. Uh, 
one thing I, I I really do agree with you though, because like thinking back, like there are tons of like Superman villains that use like his fucking kryptonite weakness, like fucking Metallo yeah, and it, shit it, like it, that. It, but they like, never. It's like, they, it's like they, if you're not. I, I don't know. I, I, I no, I'm sorry that I'm interrupting, yeah. Ben, but like, yeah. I hate these fucking plot holes. It's like, why have these things implemented in your universe yeah. if you're not gonna fucking use them? There, there just literally is no I mean, Superman villain I, mean, I can think of that Superman has magic died powers. Was when Luther gave him cancer. Yeah, I literally can't think of any like other than maybe Mister Mixiel Patil, but like he, his power is Mr. just Mixel being from an alternate universe. That's not really magic. No, no, not a universe. He's from the uh, six. He's from another dimension. Yeah, he's from another dimension. That's it. Yeah, there are no super, which which doesn't make sense. There's like you could totally do something interesting with magic and Superman. They're just fucking pussies. Yeah, because they don't. They, they magic don't is the one thing that would expose Superman. And trust they, they me, trust wanna, me. They don't want to make their big boy. Get Superman, over by Superman by is in need of like is. an expansion in his rogues gallery because there are some good villains, but it is nowhere near like Batman. There's Brainiac and Lex Luthor. There's like Parasite. There's fucking uh, uh, Metallo. You know Lex Luthor. There's some cool shit. Amazo, you know, can we all agree that, that Live can we all agree that Metallo as a character is fucking lame? Uh, yeah, depends on which one. I feel like a lot of more recent Metallos just make him too robotic. I kind of like the one in Superman the animated series. No, no, no. I just mean Metallo itself as a concept. That's fucking. Uh, he's a robot it's that a has robot uh, kryptonite in him. Kryptonite. Ooh, it's it's pretty who, simple. I'm I gonna be honest. Who, who his enemy's gonna be? Yeah. But yeah, true. but yeah, like Mister Mixio Patil. There are some good ones. There's just there's not enough, but and there's not a consistent enough amount of them either. Can we all agree that Flash has the best villains? And Flash, I no, don't know. Batman. I still say Batman is my favorite. <laughs> um, Batman 100% has. Yeah, the best but okay, Flash. but Flash has a good Rogues Gallery. I love Boomerang. I yeah, love I Captain Cold. Yeah, I like Mirror Man. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Rogues I, gallery. No, Spider-Man too. Thing. Yeah. Batman has an excellent Rogues Gallery. Yeah. Here's the thing. Woody. I'm not gonna disagree with you, but you gotta agree with me that the only reason why he, he has the best fucking villains is because you know you, you gotta cut yourself with that edge, boy. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Dude, Batman, Batman isn't even the best hero. He just has the no, best no, villains. I, yeah, he has the I best villains. He has the best villains that. because, you know, my parents died and everything has to be edgy from the... No, <laughs> no, they, they, okay. I'm, I'm gonna be, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me be honest. The reason why Batman's villains worked is because they all reflect something that Batman could have become if he didn't end up being a hero. Which, yeah, of course, yeah, edgy. Mentioned. Oh, he's the... Villains, okay, don't interrupt me, Nightmare. I want to make my fucking point here. Okay, like, listen. Like, uh, Nightmare, don't yeah. interrupt, dude. I'm in the middle of making the point dude listen uh the, and and yes i agree oh that's edgy because like oh he's the dark superhero that could have been a villain if it weren't for the fact he's hero but it works really well because of the idea that like oh he these villains like oh fucking joker is him if he had not been like fucking able to jump out of the darkness oh uh if, if he become too obsessed with uh saving his parents he would have been mr freeze oh if he you know had this this with all those other villains that's what works really well is that he has a really good hey, dynamic with all of his villains hey, because they are the hey, non-reformed version of him Hey, hey Ben, I'm not gonna disagree with that at yeah. all. So uh, I, 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 I'm gonna slightly move it to a different point. Yeah, sure. You want to know who the point, real actually. hero of Gotham is? Uh, who? J Jim Gordon. Yeah, Jim Gordon is the hero. Do you yeah, know? I would agree. No, 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 no. Like, really think about this point, guys. Do you know the amount of bullshit that Jim Gordon has to go through? Every so day? much, dude. I can imagine. He's a good okay, cop. Do you know the amount of bullshit that he that he went through, is going through, and will go through? Yeah. You know? Jesus, fuck, man. And then here's the thing, and he's still sane and still believes in the fucking justice system. Yeah. Even after the Joker that shot his daughter, and paralyzed her. Yeah, yeah no, Jesus. No, 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 let, let, let me let me explain. Let me explain. That man's the real hero because because he's not a vigilante like Batman. Listen, I, I really liked... I, uh, hold on, Ben. ben yeah. I want to get to my point that I was trying to get to a Batman. Yeah, go for also. it. Um, one of the things is, like, okay, Bat a lot of Batman's villains are not supervillains. I mean, they're actual people. Yeah, that's true. Batman's be a not a superhero either, you know? Yeah, they're all there crazy fucks. There could be fucks. a Victor's ass in a prison somewhere. Yeah. You know, there could be a guy that went completely nuts like the Joker bombing mm -hmm. cities. Dude, dude, I dude think, Batman's, well, villains, Batman's villains are popular because they're relatable yeah. to a point and down mm -hmm. to our human level. Mr. Freeze yeah. yeah. is not point. super. And, and, no, 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 and, 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 no, no, and, and here's the well, thing. Well, he's got a disease. That's another thing. 
That, that's another thing. A lot of people like to say Batman is is the best because he's relatable. No mm -hmm. shit, he's relatable. He has no powers. Yeah, well, no. I'm not saying Batman is the best. I'm saying his villains. Here's something. I, I said that wrong. I like Batman. I but what I mean by relatable, I mean he's human. Yeah. Realistically, Batman isn't relatable to any of us. The, the, no, no, are, no, of course no, not. No, 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 of course not. Answer me this. Are any of you fucking rich? Fuck yeah. no. No. Peter Parker uh, no, is the best at being, like, man. a relate. Peter Parker, I would probably say, is the best at being, like, a relatable to the common oh, man What you, if you, you were to become you, a superhero. Yeah, Peter that's Parker why, does get Spider-Man is the greatest superhero of all time. Yeah, but, but I will say, I do think that Batman on. does really well, like, uh, represent, like, grief and, like, just, like, the sadness that would have to motivate someone to become, like, a superhero. Uh, I think that he's good as that. I would argue. Ben, but you my miss one thing. My parents died, and I'm a billionaire. Mm -hmm. ben, right. ben, you miss one thing. My parents died. Uh, I fucking Parker, I killed the Joker for that. I'm incredibly rich. Are you a billionaire? Like later I'm not a billionaire. On, as the series goes you, on. Like Peter Parker I'm not, owns Parker. I'm saying Parker that Batman's experience and like the suffering that he's going through, I think, is what makes him engaging because he can relate to the to the feelings that a lot of that motivate a lot of super villains to do what they do, and yeah, a lot of people yeah, who have to deal clear, with like you, depression you know, you know, and grief. Ben, I agree with you. Let's keep ignoring Nightmare. <laughs> okay. Anyways, can we agree that Bruce Wayne is is a psychopath? Oh yeah, no. Well, yeah, I think Bruce that Wayne that's what predicates every Batman extent. thing is that Bruce Wayne is slightly yeah. insane. To an extent, yeah. slightly. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Slightly, but you know, he'll. Well, he like our Batman. He'll never cross that line. Which no, no, that's respect. what makes him so like, great. He's, he's creepily, he's creepy insane, but he's yeah. not the bad insane. He's the if person. He was the bad insane. We would. Yeah. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Yeah. If if Batman was evil, well, he'd be the know, Joker. Except, no, 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 no. Look no, at the Batman except, who laughs. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I was, I was gonna mention that. Thanks to Bat Metal, we know what would happen. Oh yeah. Batman. Oh yeah. Evil. He, oh, with so he, many different versions of evil Batman. Yeah. This is why I'm really. This is why I really hate that they don't utilize Prometheus more because I really love him as a concept. That he's like, what was he again? He's like the the bat. He's the Batman that grew up with villains and then they got killed by cops and so he became like the fucking. Yes. He's, he's anarchist Batman essentially. They yeah. should use him more often. He's fucking cool. There's uh, one that's uh, like the. Uh, uh, what, uh, like... What, what, what... Go ahead, six. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, um. You're basically saying Batman is insane in sort of the way Elon Musk is insane? Yeah, uh, Elon yeah, Musk is also I would say that Batman insane. cares more about people than Elon Musk. Like, Plus Batman, Batman the, probably is not going to say, we need to reopen yeah. Wayne Tech during this crisis, uh, you know. I'm going to be real, I'm going to be real. El Batman has probably hurt a lot less people than yeah. Elon Musk has. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I want to change the topic a little bit. Hold on, I want yeah. to change the topic a little, a little, little bit. Sure. You know who I want to be the next live-action Batman? Who? Is it wrong of me to want Nicolas Cage as Batman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> No. I well, love no no actor. fuck that I Think like that it. Joker yeah, right. you don't understand you can't be doing this to people this isn't right no <laughs> wait 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 I just thought about it who could be Nicholas Cage's Joker Think about that Adam Driver uh, I guess if I, we're I just love uh, the idea cast Nick of, Cage as uh, Batman uh, you might as well cast someone Jared Leto as the Joker You know oh, I no I was gonna say Adam Driver because imagine it. You've got, Adam Driver is a pretty decent actor, so mm -hmm. he would be able to bring in a performance as Joker. But it would inevitably be him being the Joker next to an even more <laughs> insane Batman. version of Batman. Okay, here's my here's my argument. Here's my argument for Nicolas Cage as Batman. Listen, I think that we just suffer nowadays from like just a severe lack of campiness. Like you look at like original Batman movies, like Sam Raimi's Spider Man. They understood that part of that appeal with comic book movies is the campiness. And I'm not saying you can't make like really fun, like serious comic book Except movies, but there movie. are no campy comic book movies anymore. I want to bring that back. Then. Did you forget about Spider-Man 3 where Peter Parker goes through his That's face? old shit. That's what I was saying. It's the Sam Raimi movies. I want to bring that back. Nowadays, it's all the serious fucking... Where's our fucking... Okay. Where's our uh, joke Guardi movies? Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty goofy. Guardians of the Galaxy was campy. I'll give him hey, some credit for that. Hey, hey, hey. You know who I really want is Nicolas Cage's Joker? Who? Who? John, John Travolta. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. That is a good one. I'm fine j with that. No, no, j just, just think. Remember, 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 fuck. Remember, face off. Guess remember that. Face one? off. 
Yeah, yeah, fa 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 ignoring the cringy part of it. Um, <laughs> How do you when, ignore when the the No, 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 no. no. T t you know, yeah. remember that in Face Off, they were both trying to like act as each other. Oh yeah. And and they went and they went super over yeah. the top. Now just imagine that as Joker and Batman. Think about it. I'm fine with that. Look, they can do the uh, new Fifty Six plot with the fucking Joker is, taking is, off his is it, face. Is it so weird that I want to see that? I know um, Jim Car I know Jim Carrey's already um, played the Riddler, but he would maybe make a good Joker next to Nicolas Cage because Nicolas, Cage is, all Nicolas oh. Cage is already insane. So you need somebody with the same energy to you can just bring back Jim Carrey off. Riddler. Yeah, no, no, because no, here's the thing. I'm going to defend Will Smith because I enjoy it. The movie was horrible. Literally, was I, just, I, I even told them, I even told them, because people were forced for me to go watch that one. Oh, right? God. And I told them, I told them, it was, it's going to suck, and I'm only going for Will Smith. Because mm -hmm. there's no way Will Smith can fuck that up. And I was right. He did not fuck it up. I enjoyed Will Smith. It was literally the only highlight. I'll movie. I'll defend the uh, Captain Boomerang they had. I don't think it was that bad. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, but Boomer, no, here's the thing. Yeah. Now, now that you reminded me, yeah, he was cool, but he's not memorable. The fact no. that I forgot about him. They didn't just, use him. Know. They didn't use him enough. No, they did not use him. He was so cool, and they didn't use that. Was why what he's not what I think they they really he suffered did. from they really suffered from a lack of focus. If they had just gone with like the classic trio of Boomerang, you know, Quinn and Deadshot, maybe had like a side thing with the other characters, and then just had like the rest of them die off in like cool ways. Then with with like a big like government mission instead of like a fucking save the world type of thing, it would have been a badass movie. I, I, I disagree with some of those, but um, I think you could have had a good six man team. Yeah. Had Croc died in the end. First of all, Croc looked horrible. Croc was <laughs> ugly. Dude, he looked like a walking turd. Yeah, he was awful. Yeah. I do not know. It was a walking yeah, turd. They should. But, but here's, here's the thing here's the thing. You would have made Croc <laughs> look like an actual fucking Croc, first of all. Maybe King Shark. I don't fucking know. I like but, King Shark. Uh, you would have made a six-man team had Croc died in the end or someone else who no one cares about. They should have just done it. Okay. Oh, oh, here's yeah. the thing. What was the, name of the, what was the name of the fucking fire guy? Oh, oh, uh, I can't remember. He's actually pretty whatever, cool. Yeah, I like his yeah, backstory, exactly. but yeah. Whatever the fire yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The tattoo fire, fire guy. Yeah, the, the tattoo fire. I guy. like him. He was good in like some comic series I've read, but I can't remember his name. Here's, here's, the thing, here's the thing. He was enjoyable. A mm -hmm. good backstory, you know, a yeah. pyro, uh, pyromaniac, whatever. Mm -hmm. I I enjoyed him when he died. I felt like this is how I felt like when he died. I, I was like, I I should feel something because I was enjoying this character. Yeah. But this movie sucks so much ass that literally the whole game could die and I would feel nothing. I feel like they should have just gotten rid of Katana, Enchantress, and maybe Killer Croc. No, and they disagree. Did it disagree? Katana was uh, K Katana could have been there. They just could have done much yeah. more with her. Maybe Rick Flag. Honestly, I, I like. I don't think Rick Flag's a bad idea. I just don't think they utilized him as well as they could have. Can we all agree that Harley Quinn was the shittiest part of the whole? Harley Quinn was pretty bad. Yeah. Harley Quinn doesn't have to be bad. And, they just and, don't and do her well. Marco Robbie is a really good actress. Yeah. Hey, oh, did any of you guys see Birds of Prey? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. She was a good actress. Uh, she did great. So why do I hate her? I don't know. I, I just think know. she's That's a little. An interesting question I've asked. It, it's yeah. Just, I mean... And then, and here's the thing. I'm not asking that just to just for me. I know all of you hate her too. I, I, yeah, I find that Harley Quinn kind of obnoxious, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if hate's the right I word. I did hate that Harley no, Quinn. No, she yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. Nightmare, don't give me that bullshit. That hate is a strong word. No, you hate her. Deep down inside, no, fucking hate her. She's such a good movie. Shining your soul. soul. You know such a feeling. You know it to be true. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I I'm not even, I don't even hate Harley Quinn, but like, I just, I, Margot Robbie's just isn't good. No, 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 she's no, not the right. Here's the thing. Like, she, okay, maybe not, she, not, she, not she, good. She, it's she, just, she, she, yeah. Decent, it's not her. Creator. It's just her character. There is something so wrong in there. Yeah. I swear. I don't know. Maybe it's just her personality, IRL. Yeah. Probably. Maybe. I don't you know. know. You know, so, sometimes no, no, people. Now, 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 here, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I already didn't have high hopes for that movie after I watched it. And then, and then after it was over, then everyone, every fucking. Bitch thought started cosplaying as her. Oh, uh, God, yeah. It. Honestly, yeah. okay, that's what I hate. I think her design is the worst. I hate the pink and blue aesthetic. I wish they go back to black and red. It looks way yeah, better. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, so here's the thing. I love black and red. Those are my two favorite colors. Yeah. But the, the blue and red can work. 
they just it, they were so lazy with it. Yeah, I guess it's like, so fucking. Yeah, it's like, like I have this makeup, plastered it on myself, and that's it. Mm-hmm. It's fucking it. I was I'm trying to say so something. Much more with that. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I was. Oh no, I was just saying that. I was just saying that movie was like per ugly visually. Yeah, I oh, yeah. I hate the aesthetic and the like, editing. I, I, oh, I, the I, editing. I, I I hate the the color palette. Like it's just yeah. like it brings like a shade of sewage. <laughs> to to, <laughs> like to that, you get birds of prey. Yeah, what? How do people feel about birds of prey? Because I never saw it. I, I kind of wanted like to. It. I never saw it. Yeah, I mean, I, neither. I heard. I told everyone. I told everyone how much you want to bet it's gonna suck again. It's, it's I suck. cause I heard I from mean, some people it was all right, but I I just I don't know I okay, it just a, looked on a obnoxious. Scale of one to ten, I would give it a four. I don't know. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it yeah, myself. You know? I don't I've never know. Seen it. No, he, no, but I've seen some clips and I've seen how badly they've changed some characters. Here's the thing: I've never been opposed of changing characters' aesthetics or how, the way they act, cause it could work in some cases. But yeah. but. But make improvements to the character if you're gonna change them, or at the very least, like like for example, um, remember Deadpool two? Everybody was bitching about Domino yeah. because she's black. Eh. Like, um, I just hate the aesthetic I, compared I, to I, original. I, no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. I can I could argue that 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 is not a bad uh, interpretation of Domino. I fucking enjoyed her. She was badass. And here's the thing. Mm-hmm. She is not at all like the Domino we're we're used to. Not at all, man. This yeah. chick is lighthearted, yeah. very fun and shit. Mm-hmm. It, it, I enjoyed this. Episode. So see, you can you can make a totally different character from the original thing, and it could fucking work. But yeah. when you fuck up to the point where Praise of Bird did, or Birds of Prey did, well, yeah, what 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 fucking, specifically and, and, do you? And, 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 and again, all I got that was just from some clips, man. What were the some character fun, changes that you disliked? Like, what was it about the characters? Um, have have you have you seen them? Uh, no, because I want to get. Yeah, 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 yeah that's why I'm asking. Be, you would not be asking me this fucking question. <laughs> well, I feel like though you still have to explain if you're going to make that claim, though. Uh, I don't. I don't feel like explaining it, man. It's, okay, it's too much of a headache. Uh, then don't and, uh, don't listen to Anderson's opinions then because he's too fucking. Cop and out, cop out, cop and out, cop and out. Look at this fucking cop out. <laughs>